Tommy. Thomas Angelo, Detective Narman. You alone? <laughs> no self-respect and bad just coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just a coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you yeah. said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss. Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Oh, shit! Trouble. Drive. How the hell they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. But there'll be more. Hold tight. I'm gonna try something. 
Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Your leg okay up there? Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the dock. I don't know. It might be okay. Just getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. It'll slow him down. I don't care how you do it. Just shake him off. That was your shortcut? I lost him tonight. Not all of them. These guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. You quit yapping, Polly. The more he knows. More chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. These guys real pissed. One hell of a wheel, man, I'll give you that. They must have sent word out. There's more and more of them. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Ah, uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah, we can make it. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. I didn't see this coming. Think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar.
Okay, we're close. A little over in front of that bar. To the Aries place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. Envelope. I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. After that night with Salieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there. Driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. BDS, Behringer's Radio. So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please.
up there, by the park. Here you go, St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an... Busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. <laughs> hey, watch where you're going. <sighs> Looks like the cops want to work with you, pal. Oh, Art gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just... talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I can get you. Up in front of the gallery. Thanks, Bell. Here's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. 
on to the next. Like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <laughs> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Here on, on the corner, please. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? No. Huh? No. Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while. Eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him.
Whoa. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. OK, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. Thanks. At least we could do. Come on. Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's going to want to hear about this. Call you, son. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellis girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You're gonna ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? The cabbie. We're helping him Find out. anything good? He's gonna drive the Nah, car. I... Nah, I'm watching. You know, Got it. I get it. I hate sitting around. Boring as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on collections, what can you do? I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to... I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. I'm not gonna give a good answer. Which as of today stands at 11%. As high a value as was recorded during the Depression of 1921. Dazista, ricordi? Ah, sì, sì. The bars are closed for you, I'm afraid. Mr. Akerson also faced questions as to the publication of the Wickerson Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh, 
Have me lift him. And make sure we're well That's healed for when there's trouble. So we're grateful for his dough. But we gotta go. Long drive back north. If the Don wants to do this again, we can meet him. I'm going to Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, genius! <laughs> get your head out of your ass! <laughs> Dear Papa Polly, you can, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said. Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Spins a tin can! So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. So long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through? You want a bottle? Just ask. Keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it.
Get on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? You see if you get shot. Okay. You know how to go quiet, out right? On jobs. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. Yeah, like that. sees our heads, no one tries to pop them. Over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their trunk busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. I'm real good at distracting. It's my best thing. What am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black eye. And Dino makes it just <laughs> like that. Got it. <laughs> Now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Use the bat, Tom. I'm not gonna do it for you. <clears throat> From the car. Can't Knock run. him down, Tom! <laughs> you got some kind of death wish? <laughs> Take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you can. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire at North Park. It. It's 
right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the Our wrong people. Are the best ways. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bulls show. They got a new guy. Give it back up. There Don't you let him get away. Drive. Come back, Drive. You bastards. Oh shit, we got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Okay, we lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. Careful, Tom. We don't need more heat. All officers, search is called up. Repeat of We're good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Celieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How'd it feel? Feel good? Of what feel? Making up drive careful. We don't need the attention. Making up the guy. Making Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I don't. Geez, watch the road! I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by, and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now, and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family, you had to have more connections. Your brother, or your uncle, or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. But there's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss. Then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A, a, a better car with a, a, a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey boss, it's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good, sit down. You see Morello? Nah, but he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead, and all of that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. 
And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, I got <laughs> but what did I know? Finish, you, know. you Tommy? Come on, there's yeah. Still gas in your tank. Boss get is waiting back. for you. Thanks. <laughs> Ignora quell'idiota! Arrenditi! Ah, potrai combattere ancora! There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe they'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bill's still due, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. OK, boss. Oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Hey, just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. Carry a rat. Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good. Point. 
past you real mean. Now, click, click, bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you, it's Finny. You guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the car. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Come on, Tatami. Show me what you can do. Okay, it's a car. You got it. Have a good day, Fuffa fellas. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Mm. Put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? Sorry. We're good. How's little Julia? Ha. So little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's <laughs> oh, good to hear, Al. Real good. Nice guy. Any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julie? Where's the money? Peron, fetch It's on the table, brown envelope. Via 
di qui. Lasciateci in pace. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? Next up, we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. And if you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Don't worry, James. You're as scared of you as you are him. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I. You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> 
When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place. Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on.
been doing? <sighs> no action for weeks. <clears throat>
Sam. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money! was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just don't look. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn 10. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! 
Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. Do you know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grill's a little bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin, I got... <laughs> Spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there who says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. On Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the Junkers to Gow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. He wants something to happen to the driver. Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. <laughs> he likes to make sure I have something to drink when I win. <laughs> 